Hey everyone, my name is Lachlan and I'm a speech pathologist here at the Queensland Children's Hospital. Today I'd like to share in the Christmas spirit and read to you a book called The Best Christmas Present Ever. I really hope you enjoy it. Let's read. The Best Christmas Present Ever. Bear had a funny feeling that he had forgotten something. He'd already washed behind his ears and shampooed and styled his fur. He just couldn't remember what it was. Maybe a walk would help. Bear had just left his house when he bumped into his best friend Squirrel. Squirrel does seem to have a whole bunch of good stuff there. Four sleeps till Christmas, shouted Squirrel excitedly. I've got you such a great gift, Bear. I can't wait to give it to you. Oh no, Bear had forgotten to get Squirrel a present. There must be something amazing in that big box, thought Bear. I'll have to think of an extra special present for Squirrel. Bear looked at the cold snow. That's it, he thought. I'll knit Squirrel a Christmas jumper. That's a nice idea. He knitted all day, clickety-click and all night, clickety-clack, until the jumper was finished. <laughs> He's passed out there. There was just one tiny problem. Bear was not very good at knitting. I can't give this to Squirrel, he moaned. It's the worst Christmas present ever. Now there were only three sleeps till Christmas. Bear was starting to feel very worried. Al will know what to give Squirrel, thought Bear. Well, Al lives in a lovely house here. Why don't you paint Squirrel a picture, suggested Al, when Bear paid him a visit. What a brilliant idea, said Bear. I will paint him a portrait. Bear rushed home and got to work. He painted all day, splash, and all night, splat, until the painting was complete. It was absolutely, I'm gonna say, not good. Terrible. Now there were only two sleeps until Christmas. What was Bear going to do? Maybe Fox would know. It's nearly Christmas, Bear groaned to Fox later that day. I know, exciting, said Fox. Have a slice of cake. But I don't know what to give Squirrel, Bear sighed. He sat by the fire and thought. I know, I'll build him a rocking chair just like this, Bear decided. Bear rushed out and collected a big pile of wood. He spent all day sawing, scritch scratch, and all night hammering. Tap, tap, bang. Then he added the finishing touch. Crunch, what a calamity. There was only one sleep left till Christmas and Bear still had nothing to give Squirrel. He threw the pieces of chair onto the pile of ruined presents. Suddenly, Bear was struck by a fantastic idea. Squirrel was going to love it. I'm interested to see what this one's going to be. There were no sleeps left. Christmas had arrived. Bear and Squirrel were having a fabulous time drinking hot chocolate and singing their favourite songs. But they couldn't wait any longer to open their presents. I'm going first, said Bear, leading Squirrel outside. Ooh, what could it be, said Squirrel as he pulled off the wrapping. A sledge, he squealed. This is the best Christmas present ever. Thank you, Bear, Squirrel shouted. Jump on. But there wasn't quite enough room for two. Maybe I should get your present, mumbled Squirrel. Bear's done a bit of a sneaky here and he's kind of combined all his bad presents into one. Squirrel ran off and came back with the box. Merry Christmas, Bear, he smiled. Bear untied the ribbon excitedly and looked inside. It's empty, said Bear. All the best boxes are empty, replied Squirrel. Just imagine the things we can do with it. Come on, Bear, shouted Squirrel. We're gonna have so much fun. And he was absolutely right. Ah, so he's decided to use it as a sled as well. Because now they both had the best Christmas presents ever. And that's the end. 
That was a really nice story. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoy all the fun and festivities this Christmas.